Yeah, you have all sorts of stuff you can do inside this plane. You can like get all the way into every button. You can do, I mean, it's just so much stuff. Um, baby's getting a little impatient, but we're gonna try to take off uh, without any autopilot. All right, parking brake disengaged. Move forward. Oh, restaurants are back there? Okay. All right, increase my throttle. Starting to go fast. Climbing gradually, climbing gradually. Engines are at a hundred percent power. The game actually streams in satellite images of the neighborhood. It's kind of bugged out, like John how the Wade game does the visuals. Alright, so now I have to figure out where I'm headed. So Cal approach Diamond Alpha Sierra and X-ray Golf Sierra is type Diamond to 62, 2 miles southwest of John Wayne, 1,000 feet. So if LAX, transition, Charlie what Airspace. direction Diamond is Alpha LAX Sierra from uh, this airport, Sierra, Jabba? Squawk Bike Yeah, baseball field down there, like it's so accurate. Squawk Bike 617 Diamond X-ray Golf Sierra. Sorry, my baby's being crazy. I gotta feed him. You know what I'm gonna do? Check this out. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have the AI take over flight. So I can feed the baby and you guys can enjoy the game. Let me put the music on. I'll be right back and feed the baby. Enjoy the visuals of our trip to LAX.
got a baby on the flight. He's not happy. <laughs> I actually have the autopilot on right now. Um, I gotta figure out how to get rid of some of these warning messages, cause like I get it, but like they're a little hardcore. Right now I have the autopilot on, we're cruising from uh, John Wayne Newport Air Airport to Newton Airport to uh, LAX. About a 20 minute flight, you know, we're gonna flight NTF-13. Just hanging out. This game, but yeah, this game is a... Uh... What's up, Mo Dad? Uh, it's just really incredible. Like I said, I, I'm not a fight simulator person. I think it's, I love watching them and watching my friends play them. And I've always tried dabbling in them, but I remember I was playing some military flight sim back in the day. And I mean, I couldn't even like, uh, like take off, you know? So all this time later, I'm obviously a much older, <laughs> much older now than I was a kid. Uh, I think this this is really cool for it to come back for people who wanted it and even for myself as a casual Person all the time I spent playing this so far. It's been really relaxing It's nice to just get out there and just it's such a beautiful Game and like the way they handle all the images and stuff like uh, There's something very relaxing about it but I, I really enjoyed my time with the new play simulator. Once again, shout out to Microsoft for uh, hooking me up with the review code. Ozzy Titan, what's up, baby? I think they only give you the amount of fuel you'll need for the flight you're on. Because I haven't seen anywhere where I can choose how much fuel I have. But like I said, I've only dabbled in the game. I have not gotten too deep. Right now cruising at about 2,900 feet. About 90% power. I don't know how good the AI control is. I don't know if it's going to... Um, like how that landing is going to be. So, yeah, for those who are in the chat who missed it earlier, the game, I, I turned on streaming, data streaming. Um, so, the game is streaming images from satellites in real time based on the current area that you're flying over. Um, so, these are all, like, pretty accurate to the location. It eats a lot of data to do that. But it's pretty incredible because, you know, you can like, we can fly right over Connecticut or Massachusetts and stuff like that. So Diablo, some of those settings in the pop-in I turned down because this game is meant for the next generation of PC. You know, if I put everything on Ultra, it runs pretty bad. Um, so just adjusting things like draw distance, like improves the frame rate by like 50 frames, you know? So it's just like, I could turn it on unlimited, but then it'd be a slideshow, you know? Which I think is even more distracting. But you know, as tech moves forward and stuff like that. But honestly, it's only because it's broad daylight. When it was like a storm or if you're in the clouds, or even like, you know, sunset, nighttime, it's not as obvious. But in addition to streaming in data, there are about, let's say about 30 to 40 cities that they actually rendered in detail. Like you can go to New York and see the Empire State Building and it actually comes off the ground. It's a big skyscraper, you know, you can see it up close. Um, There's a lot of really cool stuff like that. By the way, I'm feeding the baby right now, so that's why I'm in this flight mode. Baby's looking at me like, 
what the hell up, Dad? Just feed me. Um, I'll turn the camera on in a second. Everyone can see the baby. Is the music too loud, guys? Let me know. I can turn it down. Los Angeles Tower Diamond Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is one one miles southeast with Golf to land. Diamond Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Los Angeles Tower. Fly straight and runway two five right. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two wind two. Hello, making our final approach. Make straight and runway two five right. Diamond X-ray Golf Sierra. We can comp it. Next, we're going to try a flight that's a little bit further away than this one. Should be a little bit interesting. Well, looks like we're heading to LA. I can see skyscrapers and stuff in the distance. That's definitely not Compton. One second, I gotta try to break the baby. So sorry. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lucas. Uh, yeah, I'll take that place out. Um, I bet I couldn't see it with the baby there. No, I was just saying, yeah, uh, the way the sunlight's hitting the plane looks spectacular. Um, baby is very happy looking at the screen. You see him? He's like, what is this game? This game looks great. So I, what I was saying is I'm gonna raise him right. You know, he's not gonna play Fortnite. Okay, he's not gonna play Roblox. 
Yeah, this child's gonna be raised on Halo and Flight Simulator, okay? Real games. He's gonna have a hair on his chest when he's three years old. Where do you want to go in the world, Gabriel? You let me know. Oh, good. We got traffic. We got real-time traffic. Traffic conditions. Getting close. Getting close to our destination. I need, like, a filter for my voice to sound like a pilot. I'm sure I can, like, download one. I need to download one when I play this. Um... Pretty great. Okay, let me turn this off. I can put the baby down. One second, everybody. Okay, I'm back. We're approaching Los Angeles. All right, making our final flight checks. Uh, I've never tried to land a plane, so I'm gonna turn off the autopilot and I'm gonna try to do that myself. Lord help me, guys. like the wind is actually moving the plane a lot oh no guys I'm kind of worried I've not tried landing a plane in this game yet I did not do the tutorial at all uh, I did try to land when Mike was watching me and it went poorly okay see how close you can get to the ground even the cars are like rendered 3d objects so that, that's what I'm saying you can see why this game pushes um, hardware the way it does I 
Was this the right airport I was supposed to be in, by the way? Because, like, the airports are kind of big. Like, I think I'm supposed to taxi somewhere. If I'm remembering correctly. Like, I'm pretty sure I did not land. I think I was supposed to land over there. on the freestyle. Oh no. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. 